Hi there, Ross Power, Product Manager at Check Tier. And in this five minute video, I'm going to share with you how you can go around and play with our wallet app at wallet.check.io and start to see the identity features and the kind of updates and things that we're bringing to the Check network. So, first off, head to wallet.check.io and you'll need to log in using the Kepler extension. Uh, if you haven't already, you'll need to install the Kepler um, uh, plugin to your browser um, and then, yeah, hit through this. So, first up, we're going to access the extension. First page you'll see, you'll notice, is the dashboard where you can see latest transactions, staking information, and various different pieces of more DeFi information relating to your activity on the wallet that you've used to log into this. Um, you can also see things around your staking. You can take a look at the governance information, for example, previously passed um, votes on the network or active um, votes. But what we're looking at really today is telling you more about the identity aspect of this. So if you head over to the identity tab, you'll be able to first see a few different things, my credentials and get credentials. The first step you need to do is unlock your wallet. And by unlocking what your wallet, you're essentially authenticating or proving this with your Kepler, um, your Kepler wallet to unlock. So first up to do this, you'll need to sign a credit, sign um, this pop-up and then enter a unique passphrase. And this basically acts as sort of a second layer of protection for your credentials. So first up, sign the um, sign it to say that you're happy for your wallet to open your credentials and then also add the passphrase to do so also. So I've done this, enter my unique passphrase, and now I can see the first page that comes up is my list of all my credentials. So you can see here, I've got various different credentials that I've requested previously. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get a credential for yourself. So first up, what we're gonna do is get a social media credential. The first thing you need to do is connect your social media accounts. I'm gonna to choose to connect my Twitter account here. And what this is doing in the back end, this is using um, or zero to basically get a Twitter credential. Next up, what I'm going to do is get a social media credential itself. Now I've already authenticated to say that I, Ross Power, um, who has this Twitter profile, have, have also have access to this um, this wallet and this list of credentials, and I'm going to get a social media credential, which basically proves this. Here we can see I've got credential. And we can do a few things here. I can one, verify. So in the back end, I've verified this credential. But I can also go and look at the credential and find out some more information. For example, I can see that it's a verifiable credential. Um, and I can see the kind of the W3C um, information around that. And I can also see that this pertains to a person. So there's also information there around the person aspect of this. You can also see that there's a Twitter as a provider here, username, and so forth. But the thing that we really want to show you today is how you can now import a Eventbrite QR code and actually get a IIW Internet Identity Week credential. So here I'm going to basically import a IIW credential using the IIW QR code that I received on Eventbrite for attendance to this event. And this will automatically generate a credential for this. If I open this credential up, what I can see is very different information. Again, it's a verifiable credential, but it's an event registration as the type. And I can also see a piece of information. The key thing here is this reservation ID, and this reservation ID is actually being taken directly from that QR code that I uploaded. I can also see the location, I can see the provider is Eventbrite. And interestingly, all of these logos that you can see here, the check logo, the IIW logo, the Eventbrite logo, are all individual images that are stored as resources on the check ledger. The final thing that I really want to show you is what this actually means when you bring it all together. So what I'm going to do is imagine I've arrived at the event and I want to basically show my credential that I've, that I've got the ticket, but I also want to show that I myself, Ross Power, should can show this credential. And so it's essentially like having going to an event and being able to say, I've got a passport and I've also got a ticket for the event. But what we can do is we can create a combined proof that shows this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit share credential. Then I'm going to choose my Twitter, my individual social credential that I've got. And I'm also going to... Um, select my event registration credential. And that's gonna create a combined proof, which when I say create presentation, what I can see here is the combined proof here. So in JSON format, I can see the full information about this combined proof. And when someone wants to verify this, they'll be able to take this and their identity um, application, whatever is being used to kind of verify this, can actually see both these credentials in one place as a combined proof. So. For example, I can choose to verify that on my end, but that's probably basically what they would do on their side as well. So some good new exciting features that have been brought to the Wallet app and yeah, hope you enjoy. Go check it out and let us know if you have any other questions.